Physical wounds are easy to spot because we can see them. You can see blood, you can see a broken bone because there's physical evidence of the injury. If you've ever been in a situation like this, you know how it feels. You experience the anguish externally. You may even scream or shout in pain and everyone else becomes aware of everything you're feeling. But emotional wounds, they're different. Sometimes the experience is completely inward. The depression, the anger, the stress, the pressure, the anxiety. So much of that is experienced within when we're dealing with an emotional wound. Whether someone we trusted broke our trust, whether someone just broke our heart, whether we've just been rejected from something we've spent days and months and years working for, those wounds are hard to spot because no one can see them. They're so much more harder to see because they've been hidden or maybe we've denied them for so long and they're not apparent to anyone around us. When we have a physical wound like a large cut, we notice straight away that we're experiencing pain. The next step is to clean out the wound, stitch the wound up if needed, and finally bandage the wound. We have to make sure that we clean out the wound effectively and the good thing is we can see it so that it doesn't get affected. Healing from an emotional wound works in the same way, apart from the fact that sometimes we ignore it for a long time. This means it has the possibility of getting infected more. It means it has the possibility of growing without us ever knowing. Emotional wounds are just not as obvious as blood pouring out of our bodies they have familiar signs. It could be the death of a loved one. It could be abuse from our partners. It could be a car accident, a divorce, or an unexpected situation in our life. The common signs of emotional wounds, are depression, anxiety, isolation, and the loss of determination. Realizing you're wounded is step one. The second thing you need to ask yourself is, is this something you can deal with yourself? Or is it likely that you need some help? When it's an emotional wound, it's so easy to really miss the intricacies and the detail of that experience. We have to really live through it again. We have to really assess and become aware of every part of the challenge. Cleaning an emotional wound means revisiting the traumatic event and allowing yourself to feel that emotional pain again. It's gonna be painful, it's going to be hurtful. But in order to clean it properly, we have to go through it again. And sometimes we know that physical wounds require stitching. When we're physically hurt, it's obvious whether we need help or not. We might need help walking around, we might need help opening a door. But when we're emotionally hurt, it feels like a weakness to share that with people, to tell people what's going on when actually it's a sign of courage. If you're on crutches and you need help opening up a door or walking through, you wouldn't feel embarrassed. You know you need to ask for it. An emotional wound is exactly the same. There's no need for us to feel embarrassed or less worthy if we need some support in our lives. It's a sign of courage. And when we have a physical wound, we immediately go to the doctor. We'd immediately go to the hospital. You would waste no time in taking that step. But sometimes with an emotional wound, we wait days, months, sometimes even years before we approach anyone. Bandaging your wound is the last step. Emotionally speaking, bandaging your wound takes time. It includes forgiveness, acceptance, and letting go. This is the longest part of the healing process. Just as a physical wound may leave a scar, the emotional wound can leave an internal scar. We can't expect it to just disappear just because we couldn't see it in the first place. The point I'm trying to make is, we have to treat our emotional wounds with the same care and attention, if not more, than our physical wounds. We have to become more aware and knowing how we feel and the people we can share that with because it's up to us to monitor how we're healing. Don't be mad at yourself if it takes time to heal. 
feel every part of their wound and work through it.